What's going on everybody? This is Coco Leroy and welcome to Ori and the Blind Forest. Words cannot describe how excited I am to play this game. I remember watching the trailer at E3 and just being mind blown during the uh, announcement of the Xbox One lineup. So yeah, I've been waiting for this game for a long time and already I can tell just by the soundtrack and the opening menu that this game is going to be absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and dive in, shall we? Well, that ain't good. Alright, I'll shut up. Jesus Christ, this game is gorgeous. Major props to the developer on this, like, already. This is beautiful. Okay, so... I take it that leaf is Ori, I imagine. That thing is really fat, but strangely cute. Oh, okay, I'm playing. Cool. Can I run? No. Alright, let's just watch him jiggle on by for a minute. Seriously, though, just looking at this, I am in awe. Like, I haven't seen something so beautiful in a game since you first see Columbia in Bioshock Infinite. It's so cute. Aww. <laughs> I take it that's what I play as? Yes, I do remember this from the trailer, actually. This is so cute. I was supposed to go out here, right? Yeah, I'd imagine so. For some reason, I can already tell that something is going to go horribly wrong and make me very sad. I can just tell already. Alright. I take it this is going to be a tutorial section. <clears throat> or not. I'm not normally into games like this, but like... Just the opening few seconds, and like, I'm hooked. This is gorgeous. Yeah, of course, Fatty's gotta eat. Looks like it's eating everything and not giving me anything, asshole. You know who the announcer kind of sounds like? Kind of sounds like the god from uh, Shadow of the Colossus a little bit. Acid. It's a wonderful drug. Don't do drugs, kids. It's bad. This doesn't look good. Why do I feel like I'm like leading freaking Naru or whatever her name is to her death? I'm assuming that's a girl. Well, things took a dramatic turn for the worst. It 
looks to me like there's no food left. Is that really all that's left? No. Gotta be a real asshole to destroy something so beautiful. Sorry I'm not talking too much, I'm just kinda trying to absorb all the information that comes to me, you know? food. Keeping each other alive. What the hell? Dude, don't tell me she's dead. What the hell is that in the background? I'm sorry about that, my screen just went kind of retarded for a second. No. No, that is so sad. Oh, they're throwing the feels at us right away. Oh my god, that is so sad. It reminds me of uh, the opening of Brothers, if any of you have played that. Like, the beginning to that game literally almost had me in tears. Call me a pussy, I don't care, but... That kid watching his mom drown was just too much. Everything went from being so beautiful to so depressing so quickly. I don't even know how to handle it. I mean, it's still a beautiful game. Like, God, the graphics in this are amazing. And I love the art style. Like, I'm absolutely obsessed with the art style. But it just went so dark and gloomy so quickly. The way Ori moves is like super realistic too. Like I mean in the fantasy not real at all sense. If you get what I'm trying to say, that made no fucking sense. Is she starving to death? Well I guess I'm gonna go to sleep right here for a minute. I take it I'm like a child of this, like, god figure, I guess. Really moving slow here. I'm taking... Did I just fucking die? Well, that makes it even more sad. Now the kid is dead. Come on.
This is going to be a hell of an adventure, I can already tell. This is just blowing my mind left and right. I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume down on my studio monitors though, because I feel like it's probably drowning out my voice. Okay, well, it looks like the forest is coming back to life, and so am I. Okay. And now we get to play. Controls very well, happy to say that. Um, how do I jump higher again? What the hell was that? Okay, note to self, don't touch the spiky things. Well, fuck! I guess I can't go up there. Wait. Hold A to jump higher, okay. My screen just fucking cut out again. Hold on one second. There we go. I don't know why my screen's been doing that lately. It'll cut out for like a split second and then go back. Okay... This is beautiful. What is this? It's glowing, so... Okay, it gives me health. Cool. What's this? Up here. Nothing, I guess. Alright. <clears throat> you can now collect and use more energy. Remember that you can use energy to create a soul link and save your game. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Best save game thing ever. That is awesome. What the fuck? Holy shit, dude. Okay, this game just throws things at you very quickly. I like that. So I'm probably going to be very bad for a little while. Okay, combat is a little bit weird. It's gonna take a minute to get used to. You basically like tap X and it releases these flames. Okay, so I guess I gotta move and do that. That is really neat, dude. Everything about this game is so fucking cool so far. Screen cut out again, my bad. I'm gonna have to fix that once we start the second episode. Alright. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode right here. I will be recording more of this, and I think this is gonna be my first like thorough playthrough of a game I will complete this game on camera I am loving this game and even if you watch this whole thing I highly recommend playing it for yourself it is one thing to watch it it is another to experience for yourself alright this has been Coco Leroy be sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe if you like the video and I will see you guys next time